Today we are going to solve a question based on trigonometry as well as from limits. Now the question is we have to find the limit for which we need g of x. In order to calculate g of x we need f of x and for f of x we have to find the limit of this particular series. So let's fight for f of x. So let's say f of x is limit and is tending towards infinity summation this is given. So first I need to focus on this term how I can simplify this term. So our main objective is let's say this is nth term I am writing here 3 is to power n minus 1 sin of x whole cube divided by 3 is to power n. Let's say this is our nth term. Okay. Now we have to convert this into a difference of two terms. So that will get a beautiful series and I'll show you this will be a beautiful series. So do you know angle which involves sine cube? I think I know that is sine 3 theta. So sine 3 theta is 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. And from here I think I can write this as sine cube theta as equal to 3 sine theta minus sine 3 theta divided by 4. Okay. Now I'm going to convert this into sine 3 theta and sine theta. So I'm going to write T of n as equal to this will be 3 is to power n minus 1 outside as it is and I'm going to write only sine cube here. That is 3 times of sine of x upon 3 is to power n minus sine of 3 theta. If x by 3 is to power n is 3 theta, then 3 theta will be x upon 3 is to power n minus 1 here. And divide by 4, I am taking outside. Now t of n. If I take 3 is to power n minus 1 inside, 1 by 4 is outside as it is. If I take this inside, what will happen here? You will get this as 3 is to power n sine of x upon 3 is to power n minus 3 is to power n minus 1 sine x upon 3 is to power n minus 1 here. Now, as I told you, I have converted t of n as a difference of two terms. And I am going to show you this will be a beautiful series here. Now, uh, I am going to put n is equal to 1 here. So if I put n is equal to 1, I think we'll get t1 as 1 by 4 outside. We'll get this as 3 is to power n sine of, I think I'll get x by 3 minus here. We'll get 3 is to power 0 sine of x upon 3 is to power, I think, 0. When I put n is equal to 2 here, I'll get this as t2 as 1 by 4 times 3 is to power, I think this is 1. And this for t2, it is 3 is to power 2 sine of x upon 3 is to power 2. Minus here we'll get this as 3 is to power 1 sine of x upon 3 is to power 1. Similarly, when you put n is equal to 3 here, you'll get t3 as 1 by 4 t raised to power, I think 3 sine of x upon 3 is to power 3 minus 3 is to power 2 sine of x upon 3 is to power here and so on you're going to put at till n is equal to n here so you'll get t of n as 1 by 4 times you'll get this as 3 is to power n sine of x upon 3 is to power n minus 3 is to power n minus 1 sine of x upon 3 is to power n minus 1 here now when you all add all these terms you'll get the summation of t of n here now in order to calculate the summation check this is a beautiful series as i told you here, if I add all these terms, I think 3 is to power 1 plus times sine of x by 3 will cancel out with this minus times 3 is to power 1 sine of x by 3 is to power 1. Similarly, plus times 3 square sine of x by 3 square will cancel out with minus times this. And as usual, you will see alternate calculation will happen. And in the end, only two terms are remaining. I'll highlight the two terms. This is the first term which will be remaining. And this will be the term which will be remaining. I'm going to write in the next slide. Now I think only two terms are remaining. That is 3 is to power n sine of x by 3 is to power n 3 is to power 0 sine of x by 3 is to power 0. As you can see here, only two terms are remaining. With 1 by 4 outside. Now I'm going to take the limit on both sides. Okay. So limit n is tending towards infinity. 1 by 4 is outside. Uh, the sine of x upon 3 is to power n, I'm going to write here as it is something upon 3 is to power n I should take. Now if n is tending towards infinity x upon 3 is to power n. 3 is to power n will be infinity here. So this theta of sin will be tending towards 0. So I'm going to multiply and divide by x here. So that I'll get a standard limit. That is sin theta by theta, theta tending towards 0 will be 1 and minus this is sin of x as it is here. So I think when you solve 
this limit will be equal to this particularly this limit will be equal to 1 and the remaining is is will be equal to 1 by 4 this will be x minus sine of x here so this is our f of x function okay once we get f of x i think now we can calculate g of x here so g of x will be equal to x minus 4 times of f of x so i'm going to substitute the value of f of x that is 1 by 4 times x minus sine of x so i think here 4 and 4 will cancel out x and minus x will cancel out you will get g of x as minus or minus plus sine of x here now next our objective is to calculate the value of the limit so limit we have to calculate x is tending towards 0 1 plus g of x is sine of x here and raised to power cot of x now i think it's 1 raised to power infinity form if we check because as x is tending towards 0 sine is tending towards 0 and cot is tending towards infinity so this will be e raised to power limit x is tending towards 0 1 plus sine of x minus 1 that is sine of x here multiplied by cot of x as it is so here sine of x and sine of x will cancel out you will get e raised to power cos of x and as x is tending towards 0 it will be equal to e raised to power 1 so answer is e raised to power 1 of the limit and that will be all.